and welcome to Joseph's Model Railway and Toy Room. Thank you so much for joining me. As always, you don't need to like, subscribe or follow. I just put the videos out there where I can and have a holy jolly good time doing so. To the Christmas tree! Ooh, Santa's brought me a crane! Well, here we are. And what an absolute beauty this really is. But let me take a seat now and step you through a few interesting things about this particular model crane. First of all, with our magnificent packaging, and that is a tremendous photo of the particular crane there in its transportable mode. Again, we retract our boom here, and of course, if we're not using the extension piece, it folds over and will lock itself into the side here. Of course, on the side, we just have the brand, of course, and here it is with the technical specifications and model LTM 1090. Also in the box, you will uh, come across a little bit of paperwork. It's a pretty Spartan at this point because it's a beautiful picture, but rather than giving you a quick rundown and technical specifications about the crane, all they invite you to do is scan the QR code. And it does go off to their YouTube video, which has no music or anything, is a bit long-winded between the transitions, and we'll talk to you about how to assemble and where to put the key bits to get it happening. I found it a bit rubbish personally, hence why I'm just making this video to point out a few other things. There is a tremendous couple of other channels out there that go into a bit more explicit details, but I feel they miss a couple of important points. Now, when you're spending some 300 plus Australian dollars on this particular model, there are some things I want to point out that I think are pretty invaluable. Just to also quickly point out what else you're going to get in the box, you get this uh, magic little uh, magnetic female Allen key tool, basically, with the Lieber brand on it, which is designed to slot in onto the cable drum and you can twist it to lower it up and down. Of course, they are raised just enough that you can use your finger and then just roll it up or down accordingly. And it usually goes down in semi increments, depending on what you need to do. Again, for the most part, we're posing this into particular positions. So if you do need it, here it is. I will just make the first key point that it is much easier to move when there is some sort of weight attached, nothing heavy or major, but if there's just something to sort of counteract that, much better movement. The other thing in the box as well is of course an additional cable reel, which would be attached here. And actually they advise you're probably gonna to need to push it on with some sort of blue tack or putty, depending on what you may or may not be doing with it. A little bit disappointing. There isn't a little sprocket for it just to slide on in. And also it's the additional platforms for our outriggers or stanchions when they come out to attach to when you're going to find that particular home for it. And they're actually quite nice, but we're not gonna use them for this demonstration. Again, even with this set out, and as you can see, there's a gap. If we actually twist them, they will twist down to give you that additional height adjustment where needed. But this is quite a solid model, uh, becoming in at probably at least a couple of kilos, I would think. Um, it's not really going to go anywhere and we're not going to put it into any uncompromising positions or any unrealistic loads. Any other piece of packaging they're going to give you is a couple of little pins which are designed depending on if you're uh, using the counterweight. Remember, a bit like the real thing, the crane becomes self-contained, making it one of the most universally available cranes in the world because thanks to the counterweight system, they can carry the appropriate weight uh, and it can load itself on and off. The counterweights end up being stored here when not in use. And depending on different countries and load ratings on roads, that's where they can make the adjustment, meaning this crane can pretty much be accepted in any country in the world easily. There is also an Allen key as well, which of course would come in here and is what we're going to do to allow us to set the key position, a quick loosen up here for where you want that boom to sit. A little disappointing, there's a little bit more weight in it. Again, there is quite a bit of weight in the actual boom itself. So you kind of get why locking it down with something a bit more permanent is gonna give you a little bit more peace of mind rather than it sagging over time. One of the key downsides, and I'm trying to see if I can come up with some solution around this, 
is if you don't want to use the extension piece, you will inevitably have to cut off the hook that you might be using and then take it off, then re-thread it through its existing armature and away you go. They give you plenty of cable on the spool here, so you shouldn't have a problem recutting it and tying it several times over, but it's something to be aware of. I am actually just seeing if I can actually source some replacement. And most importantly, what I'm looking at is perhaps I can create a small magnetic end or something that can be re-threaded through, although it's a pretty tight section, or some way to make the connection a little more manageable. Um, either way, I'm not quite sure how or where this is gonna be just yet. Now, let us take a quick 60 second break to have a look at this magnificent machine in real life. And here's a beauty. While it's not quite the same crane, there's still no denying that's a fantastic stretch and a tremendous application to see while I was driving by that afternoon. Two golden rules I need to share with you that I couldn't find in any other video. Let's get started now. The first one is regarding these sections at the moment that can be extended. Each one has a three-way position. However, what you may not be aware of is underneath there are some plastic notches. And once you've used it for a little while, they're going to just come in accordingly. But when it's new, not quite so. And in this one here, there's a notch that we're looking and that goes quite well. And if I want to go the other way, I'll lift it and it'll go. That's the way they should be. And on fellow colleagues' cranes that I've had the fortunate time of having a bit of a play with, that is exactly how they've been going. And they've had a lot of movements. This one hasn't, so it's a bit stiff in some areas. But in this demonstration, if I just turn it around, you'll see that one, two, three. One, two, and then three. Now the problem is for me to get this out, and this is why it can be a bit stiff. Don't panic if you say, is that as big as my crane's gonna be? No, of course it's not. It's gonna go much, much bigger. But you do need to massage it out. Now they do give you this Allen key, but I find that a bit harsh because the body is actually metal. So you will end up scratching it up. So I think the best friend you can have, of course, is a toothpick or a little bamboo skewer or something like that. And again, all you're just doing is coming in, giving it that little bit of a gentle push and a slide, and there she goes out into her next section and away we go. In fact, truthfully, we can go beyond that and go one more and here we are. So of course, as per the picture, it folds down nice and tight for transportation. But what sort of boring video would that be? This thing has some serious reach. Let's have a look at some stretch and get this thing fully extended, shall we? centimeters for a toy crane that is an absolutely impressive reach there's no doubt about it this is the exact reason why i wanted this crane the first time i ever saw it yes it's an absolutely luxurious purchase to own but realistically how impressive is this now i said there was one more important thing i need to share with you 
in which case it's going to be a whole lot safer if we actually retract it back down. It is fascinating to note that of course the cab does indeed adjust up so our operator has a nice clear view including his windshield wipers on the front and indeed on the roof so he's got maximum visibility but this is an absolutely stunning specimen. and show you that important thing, which is to do with the underside of this model. When this particular model arrived, like any kid, or big kid in this case, it's Christmas and I want to play with my new gift. This was never going to be a model that was gonna be sitting in its box its entirety. This is to be set up and enjoyed. And if you wanna play with it, go right ahead because who can possibly resist? The problem is here is when I unpacked it during Christmas and uh, went to start to extend our outriggers here, which are a telescopic two-piece thing that slide in and out. And again, we just pull it out and then the second bit retracts and off we go. This one wasn't coming all the way out. It would come to about here. And I said, that just is not right. They'd all have to come out evenly. So I thought if it only came out this far, and I jiggled and I jiggled and I jiggled, and I thought if I evenly apply just a little bit of pressure to the back end bit and just gently jiggle, jiggle, jiggle out, I might be okay. And what happened? Well, I scratched it. Now I don't want any of you doing that. Again, as you can see, the scratches are not too bad and I could easily fix that up, but I'm not gonna do anything with them. They're absolutely fine. But what you will obviously notice now is that I can slide it in and I can slide them back out again relatively easy. How on earth did we fix the problem? Well, actually, it's almost like they knew this was going to be a problem. So let us just fold them in for a moment. And what you'll just need to do is flip them over. Now, where these two are, you will indeed notice right here, let's get you in super close, two screws. And as you can tell, dictating where the anchor points need to stop, this adjustment will of course be for this stanchion and this screw, of course, for this one. So it's quite logical. And I only had to give it less than quarter of a turn and out it popped most freely. So if you're having a little bit of an issue with a stuck outrigger, this is where it is. Interesting to note though, and look at the detail. I mean, that is absolutely fantastic. And of course we have the uh, articulation there with the steering. Oh, that's just, just brilliant. But it's interesting to note on the back ones, we don't have the adjustment or not anywhere uh, that I can spot, but they obviously come out quite, quite easily. So that's the story. So it's a tremendous model. I mean, the detail in the lettering and things, and the detail inside the cab, the uh, hose work and hydraulics, everything about this, including when it's time to take our ladders and we can fold them up and they lock back into their little place here. Everything has been so well thought out. And I think this is a pretty excellent representation for this particular model. The other great thing about this particular section separating from here is that it allows you on a table or whatever to get the required stretch you need without trying to dangle up in the air as you saw me doing earlier. And I think that's just wonderful. So it's also much easier as well since you can obviously use your, your magic tool. I'd like to just use something that doesn't scratch. I did look at getting a pair of cutters that are an old plastic one for doing the job. But as you see, 
that screw at the bottom is all you need to worry about if you have this model. All in all, I think it's marvelous. So the two tips we're taking away, screws on the bottom for the outrigger and the fact that you've got these modules here that will click into place accordingly. So once you know that the fact is when it comes out, you say, oh, that's a bit weedy. No, no, it goes much, much bigger. Girls and boys, ladies and gentlemen, that now wraps up this particular Christmas gift. I'd like to thank you so much for joining me today. Remember those two tips, screwdriver at the bottom for getting the outriggers and a toothpick works absolute wonders for retracting the extension out. What happens to this model next? We're gonna have it in that room in some reasonably prominent position. It won't be living in its box. I thought maybe it could be part holding up a particular sign or something interesting. May even have a chat to my wife about seeing if she can uh, create some custom decals for me that I can put across the length of the arm here. Something like boom cranes with three O's. Sounds pretty impressive. Anyway, that's it for this one. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next one. Stay safe. Toodles.